Hey all, um, can somebody just confirm that you can hear me okay? Just while I set up the camera and everything? Oh, you can hear, perfect, 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 perfect. Right, in that case, let me um just get ready. So, hey all, um, yeah, this is completely out of the blue for those that um, uh, don't know. Feel free to ask me questions as we go along. Basically, uh, what I've got going is about a year ago, I bought a load of these um, BKS one stars. Now, they're not a three star lock, but the anti pick on these is really, really, really very good. And the keyways are much more narrow than you would expect for a Yale style uh, um, a lock. So the bittings of these are mixed. They all came with three keys. So you got some nice, well, it's a classic up, down, up, down, isn't it, that one? And then you got ones with, um, you know, the almost um, zero cuts or zero lifts and then your highs at the back and, and everything in between uh, in these, the, the ones with the high pins at the end and, well, just everything. And I thought it'd be good fun just to grab a few of these and just see if I can, without knowing what the bitting is, um, go through and pick some of these locks, really. Um, so, yeah, my setup's a little bit random. I'm sort of live stri li stream, <laughs> living stream, streaming live on my uh, mobile phone, and I've got the general chat and everything running on... Um, uh, my iPad, which is just next to it, so I can sort of, uh, yeah, 16 BKS lock fumbler, yeah. Um, the, honestly, these are just not super easy locks to pick, or at least I've not found them that way. I can't remember how much I bought these for, but I don't think that they're very expensive, or they were at least not so expensive that I couldn't afford to buy. How many have I got? Two, four, six, eight, ten of them. Um, I even even kept all the boxes for reasons only known to myself and I, I have to admit I don't really know why I just rarely buy brand new blocks so <laughs> so, so I just get the boxes uh, um, oh picking Rick yeah the BKS Janus is evil I've not managed to pick mine yet hi cranky lock picker so yeah well there's lots of names I recognize here you call Chris Capoon. Perfect. Right. Um, anyway, enough talking. Um, this is the kit I'm going to take to um, Lockcon with me. I've got a spare kit, one of the Christina Palmer ones from Multipick. And basically, um, this is full of my most used favourite picks, I guess. And yeah, I, I, I just thought, let's see what I can pick with these. If I can't pick anything, I'll learn that this isn't the best kit and I'll have to figure out uh, another kit. I don't think the first round of the lock con picking competition locks are as hard as these, in my experience. Um, but it's always better to practice on a harder set of uh, locks than an easier set of locks. So there we go. Um, yeah. Right, where to start? Hi, Gordon. Um, right, let's... I, I don't know what any of these locks are, so let me just move all of them out of the way apart from one and we'll give it a go and if we can't pick it then we will just move on to the next one and the next one until we see how many I managed to pick and how many I failed on. Um, some of them might already be picked but these ones don't appear to be so let's have a go. Oh, uh, at Lock New, my current projects are Asa DP10 and Dom Saturn Pain. God, the harder locks and I I've been uh, picking recently, that's for sure, picking Rick. No idea who's log noob is though. No, no, he's uh, he's, he's he's a nobody. I, I, won't, I won't worry about him too much. There we go, right. Um, I might need to change the angle of this because that's like really in your face, isn't it? Maybe like that, a little bit. So yeah, BKS, uh, BKS One Stars, I really would recommend. They remind me a lot of the um, Aber C83, if you're interested. Um, 
Now, I normally just do SPPs. Uh, so, um, but because I'm practicing for LockCon, what I'm going to be doing is going to be using a mixture of uh, rakes as well. Got a whole lot of rakes, maybe not the city rake, but uh, what tends to happen is that we go in with the, um, the triple peak in the first instance and just see where we get to. I also, uh, whilst I prefer to pick bottom of the keyway uh, tensioning, I tend to, in competition, uh, try to pick top of the keyway like this, just because it gives you more freedom to move between um, your picks. In terms of SPPing, um, I've got a couple of nice hooks here, my favorite profile, so I'm gonna try those. Uh, Where's lock on this time? Um, it's always in um, in in the Netherlands, uh, in a place called Barlow, just on the German border. Wow! Now that's that tells you something, doesn't it? This this is so tight that my Southord um, rake is struggling to get in and out freely, and it's a, it's only twenty five thousandths. Um, so yeah, okay. Well, might need to, that. That might be a, a lesson learned for me right there. In fact, that feels awful. Oh, yuck! Right. What I do have is maybe I will take these. Let's see if I can get hold of them. Here we go. Lot console invite only, sort of. Yeah. I mean, you can you can apply, um, but it helps if you know somebody in the community who can vouch for you. A lot of people there that just uh, you know they, they like their own privacy and uh, like people to you know respect boundaries and stuff. So it, it helps that um, yeah, the invite only thing just means that you're less likely to have um, weirdos there. Um, but the good thing is the vast, vast, vast majority of uh, the the lock picking community are just awesome. And uh, oh, that feels so much better. Maybe I do need to take these rakes with me. Um, so yeah, when I'm raking these high security locks, <clears throat> um, sometimes they just won't rake. But did you hear that click? That means that something did set. So what I tend to do is just, I don't really see how, I'll, I'll try to show you with my thumb tension how much tension I'm putting on. And it's basically zero. It's just enough to keep the pressure on as I, <laughs> as I flick my tension tool out. Um, it, it really helps with these um, higher security locks to just see if you can set anything at all by very light raking and don't don't necessarily try to open the whole lock um, through raking. Uh, as soon as I feel it, you know, not really do much, I'll go in with something like a gem instead. Um, hey, room. Practice and patience is key, uh, as always. <laughs> I like that. Less like to have weirdos, but they let you in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, they keep doing it. And I don't know why, because it's. Uh, I tend to just drink the beer and get rowdy, um, but uh, but it's it's usually good fun. So I'm just having a feel around in here. Oh, I felt six. So. Hmm. Oh, I've got a click out of three there. I can't remember the last time I picked one of these locks to be perfectly honest with you, so I think I'm at a disadvantage already, especially on a live stream and trying to talk and read the comments at the same time. So be kind. <laughs> and still here's the nice clicks though. And sorry to spring um, a, a live on you, but I just thought, well, I was going to do some filming tonight and um, I want to do some practice and other stuff. I just thought, why not? <laughs> I thought beer is the main point and some locks may get picked somewhere. Um, you're really right. Uh, I just see it as a, a way to socialise, really. And um, as, as you can see from my failure so far, um, uh, I'm clearly out of practice. I've been, been on holiday with my family um, recently because it is the school holidays in the UK, and um, and therefore it's very hard to sort of 
be motivated in amongst all these um, breaks to to do filming and stuff. It's just hard to sort of organise around everything. So um, yeah, I'm I'm very much out of practice. So uh, you know, it doesn't matter though. It's only a bit of fun. Nice to just have a few names I recognise on the old chat there. Pick beard. Hey, Mr. Starthus, you haven't. I've not managed to pick anything yet, uh, Jamie. Um, here we go. So, hey, Gordon W. Is that is one wanting to be picked, or have I just like done the biggest overset in the world? Hmm, I don't trust that at all. I'm hoping I can at least pop one of these locks. But what I'm going to do is, if, if after a while I, I don't feel I'm getting anywhere with it, I will stop and move on to another um, another one of the ten that I have, which are obviously identical, other than the bitting and the pinning, probably. Um, James Randolph, uh, uh, putting together a, a meeting yourself. Yes, absolutely. You only need one other picker to have a brilliant time lock picking. You don't need more than two people, um, but up to as many people as you can get um, is brilliant too. So I think the key is to make sure that, you know, you know the people that you invite and you keep it um, on the on the quiet and uh, wherever you go, you're respectful of your surroundings and stuff. Um, but yeah, meeting up with um, uh, other lock pickers is really the best way to to learn to exchange locks, um, make friends. Uh, so my friend Yukov um, is on this channel, and he's uh, one of the admins of the UK Lock Sport Forum, and we we met up because we live not too far away from each other and um, we remained very good friends since. In fact, uh, the majority of the locks I picked at the beginning of my channel were lent to me by him because um, so <laughs> uh, I didn't have any locks. So yeah, definitely, definitely uh, meet up with people if you can, even if you organise it yourself. After all, um, somebody's got to start organising something first, right? Uh, everything starts with uh, one person and an idea. I don't think I've got a deep enough hook. Um, where's my Southall Max? Let's have a look at this one. My first meet, I came away with kilos of locks. Yep, nothing more generous than people in the lock sport community, and I, and I, I genuinely mean that. Um, it's uh, I've I've never in my life experienced so many people were willing and open to share their knowledge, their skills, their locks, their tools anything really with people. I think that, um, like I said, as long as, long as it's a group of like-minded people who you are aware of, maybe you've spoken a number of times on a, a forum or a chat group and, you know, uh, there's a, a, a small degree of trust there already, I think that, that really helps grease the wheels a little bit. Um, and then obviously beer certainly helps. Uh, lock fumble, have I picked and gusted? No, I will do that on a video. Um, I, I really will. Um, but I'm not getting anywhere with this one anytime soon, am I? So I might have to do a lock swap. I really want one of these open, they're hard. Total agree, thing is about 12 months before I got to meet up with anybody. Lockdown one, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, definitely. Lock, lockdown sucked, especially for meetups. So I lock on hasn't been on for. Um, Two years, I think. I think this this would be its third year. And yeah, I'm really not going, guessing anywhere with this. Really not. Nope. Right. Failure. 
goes on which side should I do? The failure side can go over here. So that's failure one. Let's try one of these. I'm hoping that once one or two of these click, then um, then it'll be sort of a it'll be downhill from there on. I think I just need to get my eye in. Hi, hi, Don picks. Oh wow, that's not even setting anything. So I need a, a peakier rate than that. I think. Actually, I'll just check that I haven't picked the other side or something stupid. Go for a postal hook. You're probably right, um, Pickbeard. No, not pick. That's good. Yes, Lock Fumbler. Um, I won't do a gutting today, but I promise you a whole separate video on one of these locks where I've practiced it enough to make it look impressive, uh, and then everybody can um, forget about how I'm failing to pick these. Birmingham Fist Pop, don't think I've heard of that one. I think you're right, Jane. Uh, uh, Pickbeard, a uh, really deep set. Them. I think you're right there. Um, I, I picked a few of these before. I, I can't, just can't remember how. And doing this live is uh, clearly mad. But um, here we are. Nope. Oh, the tool meetup. Um, right, no, I've not been to uh, that one. I know some of the people who um, who uh, organise it and run the UK tool. Uh, one of one or two of them are actually going to be at uh, Lockon. Um, and I've spoken to them many times. Um, is the lock upside down? Ah, bone of contention. Uh, it depends on how you view lock picking in general. You know, if you want to... Uh, in general, most locks, how you pick it is, is largely just preference. I can pick both ways up. I just prefer uh, picking this way. It's the way I, I generally practice most picking. Um, most of the time, I'd say 95% of the time, Euro cylinders are mounted um, the opposite way up indoors but in a huge number of commercial properties uh, and for reasons I'm not entirely sure of but I think it's to do with the way that the latches work um, they are mounted both ways up one up and one down and in my work offices a lot of the doors have the euros mounted sideways just to be uh, just to be different I think and in the end lock picking for a hobby is uh, it's not it's not real, um, you know. You haven't got to deal with door frames and uh, the weights of the doors on latches affecting, whether, you know, how you pick locks and the weather and people looking over your shoulder and asking questions, all that kind of stuff. So most hobbyists don't care how you pick a lock as long as you have fun picking it. And the ones that do care, well, they're a bit of a a minority, a bit of a subset in the lock picking world, and we don't have to pay much attention to them. As long as everybody lets everybody pick their locks how they want to pick them, um, and you have fun picking them, that's really the point. Uh, as for this orientation, um, it just doesn't matter really. It doesn't matter on some locks. Some locks literally operate differently um, if they are picked. So that's a high there. If they're picked um, upside down, so to speak, but there's very few locks where the orientation actually matters. If that makes any sense. No. Nope. Next one. I will get one. I wish I could make lock on this year. No, yeah, well, it's 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 horrible if you can't and you really want to um really want to go to a meetup and you just can't or, or something happens or I mean life gets in the way sometimes doesn't it or you can't afford to or there's a whole other um, 
a uh, load of reasons why things happen. But yeah, when when you can go to these things, they 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 are brilliant, aren't they? Would one be able to do it the other way around when mastered that way? I suppose it's helpful you can easily tell the pins are set. Um, no? I think so. Nico V1925. Oh, good luck at the eye, Doctor. Wow, that's uh, there's nothing setting in there at all. Let's try to I definitely might have to take these um, rakes with me, though, because they, they do feel great in here. Um, so tilting windmill, uh, yeah, there's they're, they're all security pins apart from one. I think they are um, awful to pick. Very tight keyways, six pins, BKS one stars, and I haven't practiced picking for about two weeks, so I am struggling today. But um, honestly, just nice having a chat with all of you all. Um, I'm more concentrating on the chat than I am my picking. Doesn't bode well for a competition, though, does it? Haha. <laughs> there we go. Is that a pin there? Struggling to get onto um, pin one with the gem profile. I wonder if I should use something um, a little bit more grippy. Like that. even deeper with these hooks. Unfortunately, that's so deep, I can't actually uh, go onto the, the pins. The keyway's too tight for a lot of the uh, deeper hooks. Um, but I do have an 18,000th on hand to try that, so maybe th maybe that's the key. So pin one just set there, which is good. Well, maybe that's the key. Maybe I'll just have a look in my um, uh, Peterson set and see if I use that medium hook that's here. It's quite actually quite deep and has been well used, as you see by the markings. Maybe that's the key. Maybe that's the trick to um, getting an open on this lock. Right. Do I know of any conventions in the States? Uh, DEF CON seems to be the big sort of hackery type one, has a big lockpick village that um, Tool USA tend to run. Um, luminaries like um, Deviant Olam or Olaf uh, have helped out in them in the past, I think, lockpicking lawyer. Um, so. Yeah, there, there are places. I don't. Um, I think Tool New York and Chicago probably do their own uh, meetups as well. Um, other than that, I'm not entirely sure. Circle City Con has a lockpick village. 
Uh, I'm sure there are a lot of other sort of hacker hacker cons which do such things as well that I'm not really aware of or into. Um, I'm sure there'll be more people on this chat who will be able to better guide than I, as far as that's concerned. <laughs> the multi <laughs> you're, you're right, Rune, you're right. Um, I'm at the point where a, a bell puller um, might actually be the, the only logical option for a lock like this. Um, we'll see. I'm sort of having fun exploring them. I'm sure once I, once I get to the sweet spot, it'll be fine. This. It's having some good luck with this one, actually, I have to say. there okay let's get that deeper hook again uh, where is it see if I might be pin two or three in here which is uh... no ah, pin one okay good 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 it is speaking to me a little bit this lock now which is always nice Okay, that's good. Definitely get more feedback out of this one. Okay. Oh, I don't know about that one. Don't know about that one. Or that one, or that one. Right, okay. So the good news is this lock seems to be mostly picked, but we're at the point where I now don't trust which pins I need to pick because pin five there, is that me oversetting it or is that can genuine cancer rotation? I don't think one's doing it, so it's uh... I definitely need a deeper hook than I'm using, but not um but it's it's really hard to get one which is deep but not so deep that it's crazy. Like for example, I've got this massive um Sparrow's hook, but I don't think that will actually get around the warding to be able to pick any of these pins. So that's that's a bit of a, a, a no. Then I've got the um, medium version, which might work. No, I think I'm overset that one. Ah, yep, overset thing. 
yes, it could be a, a T pin. Oh, the impressioning competitions are amazing for sure. I'm here to see the Abloy Protect versus the Keystone Wish. Oh. <laughs> no, that, that was from AliExpress, although uh, I, I know I know what you're saying. Um, I'm going to reset and start again with this one. I, I, I'm definitely getting somewhere with this one, though. Uh, looks like Type of Sonorous. Yes, it is, Nicker. It's, it's a generally difficult lock, and um, going into it cold from um, a week or two of picking while we're on holiday is a terrible idea. But um, here we are, uh, and <laughs> this, is where I'm, this is where I'm stuck. <laughs> Lunatic, yeah, I, I, I did use a lunatic um, a little bit, Jamie, uh, but the keyway is utterly so tight in here. It's um, it's tight than, tight than you'd expect, and the lunatic is uh, 25,000. They don't do one thinner, so um, I think I'll get this one. Trust the process. We'll get there. Um... I think there are T pins in this, which don't help things. I see people saying the SS Dev picks. I just never got on with them. Um, generally, I know some people love them, but um, it's just not something that I've ever really got into myself. Funny, isn't it? You just get used to certain picks. There we go. Wow, that feels gritty inside, actually. My problem here is that I've got a lock which is very, very much uh, in a very deep full set. And I can't feel the difference between me oversetting um, pins like this this one here. Um, just it, it wants to go too far. So I do need a deeper hook. Um, and I can try something like the Lunatic. But I think I might stick with something like the uh, Southord because it's relatively deep for a sort of medium hook. We're just going to try uh, picking up on some of these pins using the south ord. Ah, so, that, so I'll just hit five and we got something. I do feel three there was giving me something, but it's, a, it's not deep. My hook's not deep enough to pick it, I think. And one feels set, so maybe three, um, and I'll try and go in with a deeper hook again. Go back to pin three. Okay. Going with this much deeper hook on each pin now, starting at six. Five. Four. No, I don't trust that, do you? No, I don't either. Three just feels like it's going to... Yeah. I've lost my... full set now. Go in my gem again and find it. See if I can get it back. Oh, oh I'm gonna reset. Ow, my fingers are cramping. Hey, Moki. <laughs> live streams are actually live, Dan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's probably not the best one. I'll be honest with you. 
I'm real struggling with this these locks. Uh, it's kind of fun though, but probably not very fun to watch. Uh, so apologies. Oh, the Bannum, yeah, no, I, I never did try and remake the spare key, it's not a lot of fun. That's really the, the big issue trying to make a, a Bannum key, is it's really stressful, really precise, and not a lot of fun. I sort of need a drill press to, um, or some kind of like proper milling machine to really, for it to be good, it, it, doing it sort of by hand is, it's just too hard. I reckon I could do it, but then it'd be like, would I have enjoyed that time? Could would could I have spent that time doing pretty much anything else that would have been more enjoyable? The answer is probably yes, I probably could have done. Focus is out, yeah. Um, Hopefully it will come back in. Sometimes it will go out and, and come back in. Uh, the problem with doing it live is I don't have a lot of control over um, the autofocus on the on the camera. I apologise. Uh. Ah, that's a nice click. Fish Ninja, any back, any anyone miss you? Yeah, we, we desperately so. Back through, back through, back through. There could be lots of reasons why I'm not being able to pick this particular lock or the previous two, I'll be honest with you, uh, Moki. Um, the truth is I'm a bit out of practice, I'm a bit rusty, and it's hard. This lock is a hard lock. Um, but we will get one. We will get one. Guaranteed. Just uh, might take me longer than I wanted. The ball grinds on a drum probably best, but yeah, I think so, maybe. Um, I think finding a, a decent blank for um, for making a Bannum keys is hard as well, because they it, it's almost like you might be better off just using a, a piece of flat um, brass stock uh, of, of a certain thickness if you can get hold of a bit of brass bar. It, it probably would be better. Right, I'm almost giving up on this lock now, and uh, almost thinking about going on to um, a fourth BKS. Got to get one of these open live, haven't I? Got to. Take easier locks as a warm up. Yeah, nah, we don't want easy. We want to uh, punishingly difficult. The truth is, I remember practicing with these not that long ago, um, six months or so ago, and finding them challenging, but okay. Um, but I was not trying to um, do a live stream and, and talk to everybody at the same time. And I'm sort of torn because I actually really like talking to people um, on the live stream because everybody's really cool. And let's face it, the enjoyable bit's the interaction, right? It's not watching somebody pick a lock. Oh, it would be nice getting open, of course it would. What type of files do you need to start impressioning? Um, I've got one here somewhere. Uh, hold on. Move some of this junk out of the way. This is sent to me by... There we go. One of these. Um, if you can get a teardrop shaped one, 
that would be best, but this is um, a, a, a tapered round impressioning file. Uh, so there you go. Um, I think Hooligan Keys sell them in the US. Um, there are probably many, 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 many more um, people uh, sellers of files so I'm not aware of. I, I, I love impressioning blocks actually. I wouldn't do it competitively. I'm nowhere near skilled enough to, to be able to do that. Um, I think you need to really dedicate a lot of practice at time to uh, to impressioning. It looks fun though, I'm not going to lie. I think once you get the impressioning bug, um, you can really get it. It's a very useful technique to have because, of course, you can make um, uh, keys for all sorts of locks you just, you know, you, you might have purchased, and especially antique ones. Uh, which didn't have keys, and uh, you can sort of add value to to your locks by by uh, by making keys for them. It's, it's really good. Um, and it's really good fun as well. Really good fun. Very sort of mindful um, as well. And, and it's like it's that especially if you don't know the bitting uh, in a padlock, for example, you, and you never could. That uh, uh, moment where a a, a key when impressioning actually opens a lock. It's it's really really awesome you um so yeah no I, I completely get why people you know love the impressioning side of of the hobby i really do because it's um it's uh it's just mag magical in some ways you know because you like going from a, a a keyless lock um to a, a lock with a working key um sometimes in a matter of minutes if you're an expert impressioner um yeah, it's, it's it's brilliant, really good. Okay, so uh, I'm almost at the point of giving up on this one. Going to an, another lock, but I'll just go through and see if we can't coax open something. I can tell you for sure we've got further with this lock than any of the other ones. Um, But close isn't good enough at lock picking, is it? I'll click out of that one. I'll click out of that one. So clicks are good. All these clicks and no open. Another click on one. Serrations maybe. So this twisting motion here is me trying to go around um, pins to see if I can set higher set pins. So I might go deeper again and do the same technique if I can with this one. Or do I have a medium hook in something a little thinner? I do actually. I've got two. I've got the twenty thousandths. Maybe that's the one I need to use. Hmm. Ah. Nope. <laughs> Would have thrown them through the window by now. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all right. We all know what locks are like. It's not their fault if we suck at picking. Bad workmen and all the rest of it. Hmm. I need something like in the sweet spot of... This Shane, Shane, Shane said something. Uh, brass tubes and notch and holes. Oh. Aha, look at that. The really deep full set. So that's a really good sign.
that would imply that we're stuck on a spool somewhere or a T-pin and that can mean we're close to being open. That's a hell of a false set we've got going on here. Don't know whether you can see. But that's um that's a crazy deep false set. Which means it will be difficult to get it out of that. Um so I'm going to need something a bit sturdier. Uh, I'm going to use this South Max pick because it's very, very sturdy. Could be four, but I don't trust it. Three. You've got to that point where you just do not trust any pin that you're pressing up on. They all feel like they could be the one. Um, I don't think that, I don't think it's six, five, no. Not four, not three. I don't think it's two. I don't think it's one. Okay, so I've got um, the monkey paw. So I'm just going to get on top of two and look what click out of that. One. One feels like it could go, but is th is that me forcing a up a set pin? I don't know, I don't know. I'm second guessing everything now, everyone. <laughs> lock fumbler, yeah, you can do it. I know, I know, I wish. We're in that deep full set phase where the lock is just, it's now not talking to me. It's It could be pin six, truthfully, but five feels more likely. So should we just go for it and watch the whole thing fail? No, so you've lost that deep false set. I have lost the deep false set, and uh, that's me touching pin five. So uh, six is definitely not the answer. Neither is five. Four. Got deep full set back, but I swear that none of these pins, as my uh, lunatic, none of these pins, especially at the front, are the ones which want to be set. I'll try one, definitely not. Two, no, right, let's go all the way to the back. The lunatic does reach quite far back. It's a bit of a pain to, to get around the lock, but it could. Oh, look at that. It was a T pin on pin six. Woo! That was not fun. That was not fun at all. And the lunatic's now stuck in the lock. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right, okay. <clears throat> so that's the first lock we tried. That took, what, 30 to 40 seconds? I'm pretty happy with that. If anybody's just joined, don't tell them, all right? Next one. Now I've got my eye in. Will I hear any more? So yeah, I, I do think there's a T pin or something happening in there. I can't I can't quite say. Very hard to know, but um uh we, we were hung up on the tiniest of of lips in that lock. 30 seconds, yeah, yeah, it, it, it felt like um it felt like longer than it uh, picking Rick, definitely. 
Uh, but, you know, when you're this skilled, that's why I call myself Lock Expert, you know, it's, it's to intimidate my rivals. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was fun for us, oh, Pigbeard, you're, you're, you're more than jealous, but I, I will accept, uh, I will, I'll accept any praise at this point. Oh, was it 33 seconds on that lock, uh, Chris uh, Capoon? Um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it could be, could be. Uh, I was talking uh, Brit British seconds. Um, that, that's what I was talking about. Psychological bat battle is 9% of the win. Yeah, no, it is, it is, it is. But, um, no, gen genuinely though, trying to read uh, comments and reply to people um, while doing this is really tricky, but I wouldn't change it. I genuinely wouldn't change it. Um, like I said, the, the interactions with people really is what makes this uh, whole hobby even better, I think, anyway. Submit as a speed lock entry. No, I don't want to embarrass people uh, with with my superior skills. Cranky. <laughs> ah, the the dry spell. Yeah, um, I think we all get that. You know, especially if you've been in the hobby for a few years. I've been picking for five or six years now, and and do you know what? Sometimes I just don't fancy it. Now, having a YouTube channel certainly helps because it means that I am somewhat not forced because nobody forces me. It's not my day job. I don't have to do it if I don't want to. But, you know, um, in the lightest sense, I'm somewhat forced into having a routine around setting time aside to do lock picking and, um, and practicing and doing reviews and, and, and that kind of thing. And it certainly helps. I think that if I didn't have this, um, I can see those moments where my motivation could have waned. Maybe not completely away, but, you know, close, I think. Um, certainly the opportunities that lot picking has afforded me in terms of being able to work with companies and make designs and meet people and travel abroad and, gosh, all those sorts of things. Um, it yeah, keeps it interesting. And I'd certainly say with lot picking, you don't fancy it, just don't do it. But also explore the other aspects of lot picking. Uh, whether it's uh, making pinning trays, lock picks, um, doing 3D printing, uh, I, I don't know, um, making challenge locks, making other different tools, key casting, impressioning. Really, I mean, there's so much out there um, which you could do. Learnings, CAD, uh, that all helps with um, lock picking uh, and stuff. Uh, that if you don't fancy picking a lock, um, but you still want to do something lock pick related or lock picking related, then the world's your uh, proverbial um, oyster. So, um, oh, thank you, um, thank you, lock fun. But I will have a great time. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll just drink lots of beer and hope for the best, I think. Iggy the Dragon, good luck with your coursework, mate. Classwork or whatever it was. Why is he doing it again? Um, it's a different lock. I've got 10 of them. Um, D1 Kiz. It's a, I'm, I'm, I'm practicing on a load of BKS locks while just having a chat with the people really um now i appreciate that, that might not be super entertaining but you know it's really just about like i said interacting with the community getting a bit of practice in not really worth stressing about it too much we pick we pick we don't pick we don't pick um
this one is not giving me anything like the same feedback as the last one. But I did get something on that pin there, so it's a start. Ah, Michael Maynard. Good evening, sir, or good morning to you. Uh, we are failing to pick BKS1 stars after not picking anything for about two weeks because I've been holidaying with family. And, um, yeah, it's hard. But I might just flick through this lock if I don't get anywhere with it quickly because... Um, you know, I, I felt like the last one was a bit of a, a, a victory, and this one is just playing it, uh, playing it stum. That it's, it's it's really not giving me anything in terms of feedback yet. Although I'm getting something out of pin six, it's clicked a few times like a serrated pin. Um, hear that again? So maybe something's happening in the back. Um, and it just needs a little bit of help. Where's my deeper hook? Let's get a deeper hook in here. Here we go. Again, that was six. Now, that deeper hook's a little stuck. That's a really deep hook, though. Let me try that with a thinner, less deeper hook. Okay, we're getting some clicks. You know what, as long as we're getting clicks, that's a sign that something's happening inside the lock. Might not be the thing we want, of course, but something's happening. Again, I've got quite a deep hook here and I'm getting no feedback, which means that I think that uh, as Pickbeard was saying earlier, we just need a deeper hook for some of these pins. Um, this could be one of those one of those ones which isn't immediately pickable. But we'll we'll go in with um, a lunatic. We'll do the twisty round the corner trick and see what I can get feedback wise on uh, some of these pins. Nope, I'll swap that one out. That was not giving me any good vibes at all, that lock. Yep. Sorry, I just checked that they're, they're not picked. Sometimes they're picked on one side. Um, I don't know if it's these locks in particular, but uh, they can uh, really stop you from getting feedback on the other side, which is a bit of a pain. It'd be a nice rake one open, wouldn't it? How about using bottom of the keyway? Yeah, I could do. I, I don't know. I just um, when I'm picking euros like this, I find that it's a lot easier because I can go in at the bottom like that, and um, and it. I don't know. I feel that it's it's just easier to sort of keep the constant tension on with my thumb um, with these locks. But you could go bottom of the keyway for sure. In, in some ways, I prefer it. In, um, it. I, I feel I've got better control over the pins that way. Uh, but yeah, I've always picked euros this way. I don't know why. Picking's like fishing. Uh, I like fishing, actually. I suppose in some ways it is. Um, I think with fishing, there's um, maybe less of a degree of learned skill. I don't know. I think there's an element of like a, of that which you can't control. I think with locks, um, you are more in control of more. Um, I would say, but both of them have that kind of like mindfulness, just you know, trusting down the mind, letting, letting the world wash over you, kind of thing. Um, I suppose you also can't eat your locks once you've defeated them, can you? Which is uh, one of the big bonuses of uh, fishing.
the SS devs, yeah, I think, don't, somebody remind me, do, do the SS devs now come in two thicknesses? I think I've got the 25 thousandths ones, which I find a little too thick. Um, am I right? Do they have the, is it 15 thousandths ones now? I forget. Okay, right, where's that saddle? Not being able to eat your locks is a compelling reason to make sure you don't spend so much on them. You have no money left for groceries. Well, yes, there is that. When these locks do go into a false set though, that it is satisfying, I'll give it that. They do know a good false set when they when they find when they know one. Yeah, here we go. Getting lots of clicks again, which is good. But I'm feeling with this one, again, just that we're not, haven't got the depth right in terms of these, these hooks. Uh, where's my 20,000th medium hook type thing? Let's try it with that one. So the downward machine says I'm actually using a thin SS dev hook on a challenge lock right now. That's cool. How many of you are uh, picking as I'm, um, if you could call what I'm doing right now picking, um, as I'm picking, how many of you are just sort of chilling out, doing your own thing with the, well the rules of the comp you're in. Oh, uh, we get given a, a lot easier locks than this in the first round and uh, you get basically put on a table, say there's 10 of you, and you each get a lock of five minutes. And uh, it's the most locks opened in the shortest time. Then you go through, go through to the next round, and uh, then the next round, the next round. I think it's three or four rounds to the final, usually. And, uh, and the idea is that you would um, uh, just go through to, I think, say from 100 people to something like you know eight and then four then two or something like that and, and the locks get harder and harder of course so this would be equivalent of a usually a round two style lock and you get a bit more time on those um the the standard euros you know, get uh, five minutes but usually that's enough for those ones truthfully um usually <laughs> there's always one with like some crazy bitting you just can't fathom in that five minutes uh but yeah, this this these locks are the ones I'm picking right now are not um, just standards and spools as uh, I think serrations and T pins in, in here as well. So they're a little bit more tricky. But I wanted to practice on something which was a little bit more meaty, um, a little bit more tricky, a little bit um, harder. Um, the fact we got one open at all on a on a live is uh, somewhat of a of a win for me. I'm not going to lie. And that was hard fought. Um, but no, I actually do rate these BKS locks. 
generally is a I don't know about their anti sap anti neutrality pool, um, but as anti pick goes, they're pretty good actually. Uh, that and the new UA UAP Connecticut. If anybody's had a pick of one of those, they're surprisingly tough, genuinely. Um, Didn't like the feel of that at all. What can I use? Okay, Let's see what I can feel with this lovely pick here. Go along, just have a bit of a feel. Nope, that's not working out. Okay, going with a, a number one. Deeper, deeper, deeper again. I feel that this is a depth thing with this lock at the moment. Like just there, I've got some nice clicks where I wasn't before. And there. So, yeah, definitely a depth thing. Uh, I'm gonna get onto those pins. It does reach all the way back, but it's hard, you know, to uh, to get it placed underneath a pin like this um, without smashing up against the warding. Ah, oh, the inner waffle. Bye bye. Oh, who was going? Um, oh, Fish Ninja's going. Right. Thank you for your support, Fish Ninja. Oh, Cranky Lockpick, your dinner has arrived. No worries, Cranky Lockpicker. Thank you for your support. Always nice to chat. Okay, so, oh, cramp, 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 cramp. Um, <laughs> see you later, Adam. Yeah, no, the, the, these are these are tough old locks, these ones, I have to say. Um, like I said, being a bit out of practice doesn't help. But I just thought, since I was going to do this anyway, um, I might as well do that in some company. Why not? Right, um, again, sort of struggling with this one. I, it's not giving me any clues as to where it's at. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. The hand cramp might be a bit of an issue at the moment. It's been, been uh, pretty hard on the old fingers, keeping the tension on. Um, But we also getting clicks. And clicks means picks. That's terrible.
Oh, is that a little click out of two there? I think so. Whew. Right, let's go, go, go. Where's my deeper medium hook? Let's try this one. And I'll click out of six there. Be fun to see some of the bittings of these locks, won't it? See where I could have gone wrong on some level on some of these. I'm Shane Saunders, I'm picking as I watch. Great. <laughs> Ash is being locked out, Ken. Yes, you're entirely right. Oh, cool. Yeah, the revolver can be useful. I think some people love it, some people don't like it. Um, I thought it was kind of cool when it came out. I like the, I like the idea of having four different sort of locks in one, just so you can carry around with you. I kind of like that idea. Um, Nothing to do with me either ideas wise though. Uh, yes, yeah, need I sort of need deeper hooks but thinner. Um don't have a lot of deeper, thinner hooks, unfortunately. Not on me at the moment. Uh, irony is I've got probably thousands of lockpicks, and uh, I'm just trying to use what's in my everyday kit. What's the idea of just being able to pick up my everyday kit and pick locks rather than uh, you know, need something too exotic. But sometimes exotic is what you need. Let's go in with something really deep. Working on a Casp Euro. Well, Casp can do some pretty fun locks to pick, that's for sure. I do prefer Abus, but Casper cool. Especially the nineteen was it nineteen something 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 the um, the really nice close shackle beast that Casper is pretty great. Ouch. Wow, this is a painful lock to pick. Nomadic Hacker, wish you could make lock on this year. Yeah, well, you know, it's um It's one of those things, isn't it? You can't make everything. Um and it is a shame because of course it's super fun. Um but you can't make it you can't make it and and yeah, um I will I'll try to have as much fun as I can for you. What I don't like about these uh, BKS locks is that they will not just like rake into a, a full set. It's just not something which is in their nature. They just do not do it. Um, so raking, I'm not entirely sure how effective it is to sort of even set some pins. It might might be might be a bad bad thing. Uh,
<laughs> Jens Stark, I should be in the basement impressioning, not watching lock picking. Can you do both? Probably not actually. You need a lot of concentration to uh, lock impressioning. Uh, I'm interested now. What what lock are you impressioning? No, I like Mad Bob's too, Ian. Um, truthfully, it, it is a shame, but I guess not every company sort of lasts forever, do they? Um, uh, the competition is fierce in the lock picking world. So many companies making so many good picks as well. Um, put check pins in my revolver, saying now I can't pick it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Abus C83. Oh, of course. Of course, yes, yes. Sorry. The impressioners, impressioning lock. The lock that they use at the lock on competition as well. Um, I forget what the fastest ever time for one of those is, but it's, uh, I think it's, it's, it's seconds, isn't it? Really is a skilled bunch of um, impressioners out there, especially um, uh, Jan and, and Jos. Oh, hi, um, M. Halawi uh, from Lebanon, I'm assuming. Fifty six or so seconds, wow. Oh, you, uh, Jens, are you going to um, uh, Lockcon then? Awesome. I will see you there. Um, yeah, no, they can. Um, uh, impression fast and pe people can duplicate a key. It's, 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 it's really quite the thing to watch when uh, people are like filing away at these locks and, you know, within a few seconds. You know, it's it's over, and they they've got a key, and the the lock is is turning. It's just like, yeah, it really is something. If you've never watched a, an impressioning competition before, um, and you like locks as much as we do, then uh, it's it's hundred percent worth uh, checking a competition out. If not, you know, some of the there are some videos on YouTube of uh, of speed impressioning, and and they, they are really impressive. Oh, just opened a tree of ink, six pin, well done, P pick beard. Um, you're certainly doing better than I am today, my friend. I am struggling with this. I can't feel a darned thing in it. Um, not a six, I'm not going to click from that. I do think it's a depth thing, though, again. Um, so, yeah, it's trying to find something which is thin enough and tall enough to sort of reach around at the back. So I'm going to try um, with a lunatic on pin six and try and get that sort of to the back.
It's not working brilliantly for me though. <laughs> Will we have to be defeated by this lock as well? I hate to think that the foot, that that lock a minute ago was a bit of a fluke. It's just I, f I can feel the pins in this lock. I just can't get the darn things open. Um, and there will be a reason for it. Sometimes you wish you could just sort of take a look inside and go, oh, that's why. Um, and yes, I know there are cutaways. In fact, I think Multipick make a cutaway using this exact BKS lock. And, um, and I know people commented that it's um, a little bit difficult for a beginner's practice lock, but hey, certainly, um, certainly is something, that's for sure. <laughs> Um, do you know what? To give my fingers a rest, I might just swap to the bottom of the keyway tension for a little bit um, because I am getting some really horrible cramp. Ah, the relief. That is so much nicer. Yeah, that's lovely. Um, that could actually help as well. You never know, right? Just a, a bit of a change of um, um, tension, the feedback. Not mind you, I'm feeling anything in this lock anymore. Yeah, this might have been a terrible mistake doing a boss on the keyway tension, actually. Yeah, I think that, yeah, that's, I've, yeah, you no, know, that was a bad idea, bad idea. Yeah, they are just awkward to pick, um, Moki. They, they're just a, a, an unpleasant um, lock to pick, but we picked one, and that's the important thing, we did manage to pick this one here, so they are possible. Um, yeah, but uh, tricky, tricky, yes. But what's the point of um, being able to just like whip through um, any lock within seconds? It's, it's not a lot of fun. And the feedback on these is just pretty awful. Um, you need x-ray vision. Yes, I do need x-ray vision as it happens. Uh, sadly, I don't have that uh, that luxury. J. Dois, yes, yeah, get some locks, get get picking. I can't be the only person to uh, to to be to to fail. <laughs> I was keep thinking back to uh, pick beards uh, trioving. I can't remember the last time I picked a trioving actually. Um, I have to get one out. <laughs> not tonight, however, not tonight. I'm already failing miserably at uh, picking BKS locks, so um, I think a trioving would be a, a really bad idea. Um, it's difficult, uh, Moki, to to explain. Uh, I get muffled and crunchy and binding um, on occasion. It's it depends on how it feels and what pin I'm pressing. Uh, it's like then I found felt pin two binding and it clicked, um, but then I, I might not feel anything else in any of the other pin positions at all.
and that's pin two, you see. So it's it's weird. Some of the pins, you can feel what's going on, and some of them you just can't. I really should have just got some nice Yale one star, shouldn't I? That would have been uh, much better for my sanity. They do require very perfect tension, and the worst thing is, I've got incredibly bad hand cramp at the moment, so. I don't want to give up, but I might have to uh, give up for a bit or pick something else just because um, my hands are giving out. So I'll use a lot of tension. It should be light, but my hands are cramping so badly now that I can't quite control the tension as I as I as I would have liked. Um, Ah, oh, just needs to give them a bit of a stretch. Uh, but no, this these these are pretty horrible locks. Uh, right. So I'm going to call this one, and I'm going to um, make a pause on the old BKS locks. And yeah, oh, I'm going to pause, and we're going to get. Something else to pick just for a minute. Whew. So we did get one. We did get one. Um, I got this Q locks lock instead. These are a six pinner. And um, I don't know how these pick. So let's uh, let's. So I know they have spool pins in. Uh, could be fun to pick. I don't know. Uh, that one, and let's grab a a rake and give that a go. So, huh, see, already into a bit of a full set. I mean, that's a high set. Do you know what? Boston Q way tension is gonna work with this because I, I reckon this will mostly rake quite easily if I'm lucky. So that was quite good. I like this. Um grab a pick. Let's see where we're at. Now that was really good, but we didn't get that open. So where's that rake again? So into rake, rake, rake. Got that lovely full set. No, that's uh, going to overset something. Back through the lock. And I swear it's pin one, but I can't lift it high enough. Um, maybe I'll just get on with where's that number one hook gone? Where is it gone? Here we go. No, no. I put it down for like two seconds. Where are you? Uh, no, 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 not you. That's the one there. Actually, while I'm doing that, I want this pick. Something's pin one.
There we go, got the open. He was pin one. <laughs> I got one you call a Commodore or own two pins. Um, Rune, I wouldn't bother watching the replay of this one, mate. But yeah, oh, that was so much nicer, wasn't it? Just a, a standard six pin. Um, I reckon I can rake that one. I reckon it's as close to rakeable as any. I just need to... I think that pin one's very high, though. So I don't know. There, got it. It's rakeable. Yay! So this is a type of lock which um, is is more likely to be in the uh, picking competition. The These sorts of locks, the BKS1 stars, are less likely to be in. In terms of the keyways, let's just... Ah, sorry about the noise. Um, it's probably hard to tell the difference here. If I try and get them in focus for you. They look so similar, but the BKS is in a lot more paracentric and a lot tighter and a lot harder to uh, to navigate. Um, genuinely, in terms of pick resistance, it's it's day and night. It's absolute day and night. It really is. Um, what else have I got in my magic drawer? Um, all sorts of things, actually. What's this? A Federal 98. Let's, let's pick one of these. So I'm giving my hand a rest if anybody doesn't know why I'm not picking the BKSs, um, which are infinitely harder. Uh, it's just my hands are absolutely cramping up and I need to I need to pick something else for a bit where I can use different tension. Uh, is that 1.2? Yeah, well, that should fit, right? Let's give that a go. So I can't remember this lock at all. I think that the 90A uh, is a bit like a uh, an American lock in some ways, but not particularly so. The American lock is better. I know that much. By American lock, I mean like the uh, American lock 1100 or series 20 or 50, those kind of locks. Not even get anything on this. Must be almost time to pack it in if I can't even pick a um a 90A. But it's not known to be a particularly hard lock. Um it should be a fun pick, but I'm just not getting the any feedback from this particularly. Um, oh, can, yeah, stay safe. <laughs> Hi, Lockheed. We are um, failing to pick a lot of locks on live at the moment. crunchy and horrible. I don't know why I'm not picking stuff tonight. Lack of practice, that's what it is. Ah, oh, this is horrible. I don't even think the bitting on this one is uh, is is extreme um, at all, really. Um, 
Maybe I just need to, maybe I'll pick it in hand, maybe that'll help. Oh, she feels more comfortable. Okay, so three, two, pin one, all the way to the top, okay. Spin one again. So what I need is we talked about these. My Mad Bob's turner, so I can rest my thumb nicely there. Ah, comfy. Nothing like a bit of comfort. There we go. Much nicer. I do love these curved tension tools. Um, shame you can't buy them anymore. Uh, there we go, I've got the open. There we go, just needed some, something with comfort. That was nice. All right, so we did a few comfort picks. Um, that went nicely. I've got no idea uh, what else I've got going on here, so. Uh, okay, so it looks like this one has been previously picked, and also um, I can't seem to turn it round. Okay, let's try that again. Ah, got it. Right, okay. So this one has been previously picked, which means it is pickable. Here we go. Right. Let's try it. I think a beer is needed here. Oh yeah, actually a beer would be lovely. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a way of quickly getting a beer, um, my friend. Which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, it'd be lovely to have a beer at the moment. That's a nice click. That's an overset, I think. Go through slowly, pin by pin. Okay, so these locks, I think it's, it's they've got quite um, good tolerances and, and the bittings can be a bit uh, mean. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the find pin and twist around on it kind of trick to see whether that's uh, gonna help me. Well, I'm certainly not getting a feel for these uh, BKS locks today, that's for sure. 
Oh, hi to Killer Dave. Yeah, no, Mad Bobs do pop up now and again, don't they? On, um, is it Twitter or Instagram? It's now and again and, and do the odd run of uh, tools, I think, just when they... Because I know that the owner is still around and still does sort of engineering type stuff. Um, but I just think they're large, largely out of the um, the the block pick making market as a a general thing, um, which is a shame. But I, you know, got to respect their uh, business choices after all. Um, but I do miss them naturally. It's it's good to have more as a lock picker. The more choice you have, um, the better. Because um, what suits you might not suit somebody else, and vice versa. And uh, you know, competition breeds innovation and tends to drive down costs. Uh, so, yeah, I'm all for more options in the lot picking world in general. Mm hmm. I swear that's actually bent. This be ah. I swear this pizza and hook's slightly bent, I don't know why. Um it hasn't been abused very much. No click there, that's nice. So on to pin six here. I'm drinking a beer called Gilflint. <laughs> awesome. Ah, we got a bit of a false set there. Just hit pin one. Maybe we go back to pin one here. Mm, I was getting so far with that and then um, I just hit the wrong pin and we're back to square one. But we'll get back. Ah, there we go. Pin one's high set on this one. Let's try pin six now. No, five. Don't trust five. Four. Maybe four. Three. Two. One. Okay. So this one, this lock's sort of, I say, behaving better. It's behaving more predictably, but I don't know. Um, how to attack it really so that was weird that was definitely setting and now we've we've lost the um the false set um but I, that might not be of overset saying so let's have a Sells ghost pro kits. Yeah, they they were they were good. I like the ghost pros. I didn't like all the picks in in it because I don't like the um. Uh, personally, I, I don't like that kind of profile. Don't really know what to do with them. So anything like the spoon profiles and things, just not my favourite. But um, anybody who it does work for, um, I suppose you got to love them. But the ghost pro was at one point excellent value. I think you know selling them for about 18 pounds at one point or something like that. Um, very hard to argue with, isn't it? Now, I reckon we've got a very deep set number 
five there or three, uh, sorry four uh, I, I think I need a deep deep hook to get onto it but I don't know if I've got anything deep and um, thin enough so, uh, so I'll, have, I'll have a go though So maybe I can use a slightly deeper hook, I can buy one, like this, Let's see if I can get underneath, ah, just jams up if I'm not too careful. Get to the back, come on. See, I think that's a good sign, but I've lost that full set again. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm really not sure. Ah! But I do feel I'm getting, see, this is the worst thing about this, is I am feeling I'm guessing somewhere with this one. So it sort of makes you want to uh, to, to, to try hard to, to pick it. Um, and I've not found that raking these locks does anything at all. So um, I'm getting no sort of good feedback that I'm setting anything or anything good is happening when I do that. So I don't know why I really bother. Uh, Okay. Okay. So going in with this um beautiful pick made me by Daz Evers a long time ago and it's genuinely gorgeous. I love everything about this uh pick and it, it gives excellent feedback, so I'm hoping that it will give me some good luck vibes when picking this. Horrible lock. But you have got that false set back. Now what do I do with that false set? I don't entirely know. Oh, there's a bot. Brilliant. Uh, how do I deal with the bot? Ah, got it, got it. Uh, hide use on this channel. Right, so, good. I think we managed to delete the bot, thank you. Modern world, eh? Can't even fail to pick locks of that. Some weird bot trying to sell you uh, best adult dating sites. I think I keep getting tricked into picking a pin which shouldn't be. Oh, uh, Arta said beginner order the Valerian set. Yeah, Valerian set's very good, in my opinion.
Um, does anybody know what happened to Daz? Um, he sort of disappeared into the ether, uh, and I've not been able to contact him. Hope he's okay, genuinely. Hi, Donna. There's that full set. And then nothing. Just what we want. Yeah, we're just getting to a full set, then nothing. So I'm clearly picking the wrong pin once we get into that full set, aren't I? Um, Okay, right. Okay, nothing from this awful lock. Ah, we've got movement, that's good. And a, ah, pin one back into a bit of a false set. Now we've got to do that thing which is jiggling each pin in turn, desperately hoping for some feedback and not getting any. And I am getting feedback off a pin here, which is pin, looking at this, pin four. Um, but that's about it. Makes me think. The pin four must be very deep, and what I'm doing is I'm oversetting it when I'm picking it, um, which means I probably need a deeper hook. I just don't think I've got one, which will sort of do the trick. So basically, I don't really see. I've got to go into sort of that depth here, and somehow wiggle around underneath it. Uh, and something like the lunatic is wonderful, but just too cumbersome to to get through there. Um, what else do I have? I've got to hand um, a sparrow's medium hook. It's possible I'll just be able to sort of wiggle round to that depth and, and get onto that pin, but we'll see. Oh, that's not working. Okay, let's try this in 20,000, so... See, we set something, but I just don't think... I, but I think we lost... So. We got it back though, didn't we? Just ah, into a, a much deeper false set. Okay, good, good, good. So now it could be hung up on a T pin or something. So I'm just going to tap on the tops of each of these pins and see if we can go open it because I think this is too deep a false set for a full. Um, yeah, we got it. Got one. We got two. Two. Out of one, two, three, four, five, I've got two out of seven. 
That is brutal, isn't it? That's a, a brutal, brutal, brutal showing. It certainly makes you think. Is that bot back again? How? Hide user. Yeah, how on earth? Can somebody in uh, in like a sentence explain how those bots work? What are they looking for? What are they trawling through in uh, in uh, on YouTube? What are they finding out and sniffing out to be able to just then start spam um, comments on things like live streams? I don't know. I mean, in, in, in the end, that kind of stuff is kind of clever. Just really, really annoying. Um, yeah, I do pick up so down the, the European way uh, sometimes. Um, I just prefer to pick this way up. Um, but I do, I do mix it up now and again, just to show that I can. But um, I'm probably better at doing it this way as well, just because I practice more this way. Um, but I'm not, I'm not really that fast. I think, you know, like I said earlier in this stream, you just pick, we're not picking outside for real as a job, um, as a hobbyist. So just pick the lock how you like, how you like to, as long as the, uh, the lock itself, the mechanism isn't such that by picking it in a certain orientation, you are def bypassing part of the mechanism, um, then crack on. But yeah, in, in Europe, um, you know, like I think I said, 95% of the time, the locks are orientated the other way up. Uh, the exceptions are the very common, um, I don't know why in particular, but uh, in a lot of um, commercial doors, shop fronts, etc., offices, um, uh, there's usually a pair of euros, one up and one down. That's interesting. Uh, some offices also have side mounted euros. I don't know why, um, in, like on internal doors. I'm assuming it's just aesthetics. Um, else? And of course, um, a, a lot of euro uh, half cylinders, which are found in padlocks for people who like to have their sort of front doors and their, um, um, you know, garages and gates all have the same key. So, uh, I always say that it's best to just practice picking euros pretty much every way up if you want. But the most important thing is, it's a hobby. You've got to choose what um, what suits you. What what do you like doing? Uh, what type of lock? What equipment? Do you like you know raking, impressioning, single pin picking only? Anything that goes in anything in between? Bumping? I mean, nobody can tell you how best to enjoy what you do and um, I think that's important to remember you know always always enjoy what you enjoy doing and don't worry so much about what other people do um, but yeah yeah I do pick um, uh, what we call pins down too I just uh, I just don't do it don't do it as often and uh, this pins up is my preference um, Dimple locks, yeah. Um, really, it's uh, dimple locks. I think it's hard because there's some really good tools out there. Even ones made in China, the dimple flags. But the cheaper ones, you have to finish the the picks off yourself. You have to round the shanks and taper the flags. Now it isn't hard, but if you're starting out and you don't know what you're doing, it can be difficult. The uh, there are manufacturers out there who do some really, really, very good dimple flags which are already prepared out of the pack, but you pay a lot of money for that convenience. Um, so it's it's dimple locks are, are are a tricky one because you sort of have to there's a, a slight uh, skill gap in terms of that sort of price of entry. You either need to know what you're doing enough to be able to finish your own tools or have sort of or. <laughs> 
or be into it so much you're willing to spend the money to buy a well finished pick straight out of the um, out of the pack. Um, but I would say that if you really are into dimple locks, you genuinely like dimple lock picking, um, then it's worth spending that little bit extra to get a premium dimple lock set um, because you will just get into more locks. You, you just will. Um, and dimple lock picking is fun. I, I, I like it probably as much as standard uh, pin tumblers like this, uh, genuinely. Getting hold of dimple locks can be, a good quality ones can be difficult. Uh, my tip is to um, buy something like a multi lock garrison. I know there's seven pins, but the multi lock are made well and they're consistent. And when you are learning to pick locks, well made consistent locks are absolute key. Master lock actually do some very good dimple locks of um, beginners as well, but they seemingly are relatively hard to get. I Sayo R6 is a brilliant beginner's dimple lock, but it's a little bit trickier, has a harder key way to to, to, um, to navigate. Um, uh, the IFAM, is it M series, is very, very, very good as well for beginners. The Avocet, uh, oh, Pioneer, not the Plus with the, I think the Plus has the um, trap pins. <laughs> picks the same, but it's hard to, hard to pick yourself out of the trap pins if you're a beginner, so... Um, so, but it's a good one to try try and get hold of the Pioneer Plus. Yeah, I'm not getting anything uh, in in this lock anymore. Uh, comments, comments, comments. I like most kind of locks. Says Chris. Yeah, yeah. This is horrible. I'm on a pin which I think is giving me cancer rotation, but I'm not convinced by it. And I think it's taking me out of my false set, which is annoying. Can I get it back though? Donna said that they took a bit of a nap. Um, I'm a big fan of naps. I could do with one now, I'll be honest with you. by this lock at all. Might sort this one out as well. Yeah, these BKS are being utter pigs, aren't they? Picking anti-clockwise? I don't know. Pick beard. Let's have a go. It's not a bad idea to mix it up a bit. It's just not natural for me to tension this way, but it doesn't mean it can't be done. It does feel weird though, I'll be honest. Ugh, no, I just, it's just not intuitive for me, it really isn't. Um, so the answer is probably, but uh, I, I dug myself into this pit and now I can't get out of it. Poke it and get frustrated. Baldy locks, you know me so well. Poking into lock and getting frustrated with it, that's all I got left. But I'm genuinely getting tired um, at this point. Mental fatigue is setting in, as well as uh, everything else, old age.
Yeah. Ah, right. So you hear those clicks? I mean, it does give you something, but it's um, it feels more random than controlled. So pin three or four here is giving me some feedback. Bullying my way through the slot. Um, I will pick through all of the the uh, the BKSs. I just uh, but may speed up in these last two that I haven't managed to pick because or haven't got around to picking yet, just because I'm I'm, I'm just getting tired. Uh, not as young as I used to be, etc. Lacking stamina. Okay, into the false set. And oh, it opened. It opened. Maybe I'm getting a feel for them eventually. I think though we can definitely say that the um that the BKS has won. Um I may have gone down fighting. May, may, may have been going may have been swinging a little bit there, but um but uh, I have to doff my cap to the old uh, BKS there. It's definitely um, kicking my butt today. And do you know what? I don't mind that so much. It's just what it is, isn't it? Um, sometimes the locks, they just win. And my channel's always been about, um, you know, showing all aspects of lock picking. It's not every time um, a win. And it shouldn't be because then where would the fun of this hobby be? That challenge where, you know, you have that naughty bucket or that lock which has just been giving you the side eye for, for years that you finally defeat. And um, and that, that really is sort of the fun, isn't it? That's where that's where the sweet spot of the hobby is. And the trick is, is to like it despite it being frustrating and difficult and hard and, um, and make, you, <laughs> make you want to cry. <laughs> um, but you know that's 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 the hobby for you, isn't it? The the fact that you can't pick everything, not everything works out as you would like it to. Um, is the fun? Now again, this lot is using some really good feedback, but um. <laughs> Pickbeard, BKS, butt kicking security. Yeah, I'm willing to believe that that's what it stands for right now. Pickbeard, I tell you. Borderlock says, if it was easy, it would be boring. Yes, although some people like easy mode, don't they? Um, I like to be challenged. Um, maybe not this much, I'll be honest. Um, but, you know, uh, I think you've got to have a little challenge in, in the old picking. You've got to. Not not say you can't have a bit of, you know, a comfort lock or two as well. You know, lock picking has to be fun. Picking the old uh, master lock in five seconds is, uh, oh, I still find that, I still find that good. But if that was all it was, it would get boring fast. I feel like one of those uh, gaming streamers that's like doing the sort of like Mario's Lost Levels or um, or some custom uh, uh, Mario uh, ROM mod, um, and you know, and they spend about ten hours straight failing at a failing at a level. I feel like I'm that kind of streamer right now. <laughs> uh. 
Um, although, yeah. Anyone feel uh, remember block picking thing like a magic trick? Um, I'm still there, mate. I'll be honest with you. I know it sounds a bit cheesy, but um, there are some times where I just pick a lock, and it, it really does just feel like you've done something, um, just like a, like a little magic trick. And I suppose in some ways it is, isn't it? it it's it is a bit like a magic trick. And lock picking, you know, if you look at illusionists and escapologists, you know, is still part of um, that world to a degree. Um, less so now than it than it was, but. Uh, And I hope it never loses its magic with me, at least, you know? Um, the the shine goes off everything after a while, but, um, you know, it's always something which can enliven that passion again, that flame. I don't think that's a good choice, Lock Noob. That seemed like a terrible choice, but we'll keep picking. Well, maybe it was a good choice. So what? I'm so glad we managed to pick a few of these locks. It'd be terrible, even though I'm under practiced. If I couldn't even get like one of these, that would have been really disheartening. But we did get some, and that's that's important. Board loss, my comfort lock is any GG. I don't think you understand the word comfort, mate. <laughs> Do I have a manicurist? Uh, uh, I, nothing, no manicurist could deal with this. <laughs> um, no, but I do keep my nails short because I can't stand um, uncomfortable nails i know that sounds really weird but i don't like it when nails just feel um uncomfortable uh when they got stuff caught underneath them and constantly messing around with locks and making lock picks and other tools and it's very easy to get sort of like really gross um um uh, uh what am i talking uh, fingernails and no I, I hate it so i tend to keep them short i also cook a lot and um and of course, when I inevitably forget when I'm filming and end up cooking something with loads of turmeric in it or something, and then uh, end up with like perfectly yellow stained fingernails. Um, but I figure that my audience isn't here for my pretty. Well, maybe it is. Maybe maybe the audience is here for my pretty hands, and uh, I've been doing you all a disservice. Um, so my apologies if you, if you're not here for the lot picking and you're here for uh, my. Gorgeous hands. We got another one. We got another one. We got another one. Do you, do you think that, like, you know, twelve hours into this live stream, we finally managed to um, uh, crack these locks because we picked three in relatively quick succession? Now, I have the keys, and I don't know about you, but I am deeply curious as to um, uh, what the bitting is of the locks I managed to pick. Were they extreme? Were they some of the less extreme ones? Um, hopefully this won't take long, there's only 10 sets of keys, um, and hopefully it won't be the 10th key each time. Um, but we'll be able to just see what the bitting is for the locks I did manage to pick, hopefully. Um, what do you reckon to these BKS then? Um, you know, some of you know um, what locks I, I pick and have picked on my channel, um, and to see me pick live and even win the odd competition. So 
yeah, what do you reckon to these BKS locks? By the way, I'm not advertising them um, or suggesting you buy them. I've got no idea if they're good locks in general. Um, okay, so this one was relatively flat bitting. So that's this lock. Um, let's, so I can put those keys to sort of one side. And it could be that some of the locks which um, I just couldn't pick are the more extreme bittings. Be interesting to see, won't it? It's likely, but you never know. Ah, this one. Okay, this one is quite a good bitting on this one. Wow, that's really high. This is super high. And number one was like like a, the highest cuss it could be. So that that one, so this one, I say easy, relatively easy. This one very challenging, I would say. Uh, let's try the other two that I managed to pick. I really wish it was an easier, less noisy way of me doing this, by the way. So my apologies. Yeah, but definitely my, my hat's off to, um... oh, now that was a nasty bitting in my opinion. Look at that one. Yeah, what do you reckon to that? And the last one. Okay, so what's good is there has been a mixture of pretty nasty bittings here. So it isn't just um, um, me picking the super, super easy ones. Um... Oh, that's, a, that's another hard one, I would say. You may disagree, but with the two very low cuts, that super high cut at the back, that's one of the more challenging ones, I would say. So yeah, there we go. Um, I'm not going to go back through and pick these ones, although I'm more confident now I've picked these ones that I might be able to. There's a lot of metal filings on the table from the picks more likely than the locks. Um, a big bunch of keys. What, what a challenging um, lock when you don't know the bitting. The one star BKS is. Um, it's not an endorsement. Like I said, I don't know what the anti drill snap pull and other uh, mechanisms are, but um, yeah, yeah, pretty pretty tough one that I'd say. Anyway, um, I'm going to probably um, call off the the live stream. It's been really good fun um, um, being here with, with you guys. My hands are so cramped though. Genuinely, they 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 they're past their best now. Um, but I've had a lot of fun sort of picking through these, a uh, bit of a slow start, um, but this is what a real practice session looks like for me, you know, you just have to take your time, um, although to be fair, um, I don't normally get the uh, pleasure of speaking to you all at the same time as I'm trying to uh, pick pretty difficult locks, but yeah. Ian, you... You're more than generous by saying it's a fantastic live. I think um, I, I I would have I would have called that probably deeply boring if I was watching it myself. But um, if you did enjoy it at all at any point, then I'm very very glad that you did. Anyway, thank you so much, everyone. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, uh, uh, like I said, close this one down. It genuinely has been a pleasure. Um, I've really loved speaking to you all, as I always do. Uh, and I didn't even advertise this live stream. I just went live with it. Um, so the fact that there's even more than half a person watching is astounding, genuinely. So um, thank you all so much. And I'm going to figure out how to turn my, uh, my phone off. <laughs>